Hi guys, um, I know you're expecting to see Alan. Um, I, my name's Marcus, I, I work with Alan in the background. I work on the tech side, on the website, um, on, on some of the admin side, so I try and keep his plate clear so that he can uh, offer support with courses and, and uh, his expertise with the import-export side of things. So uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because it's more of a question about um, it's a question about presenting to buyers and uh, more on the digital side of how to do that now that we're, we are in lockdown and, and maybe meeting face to face is a bit more difficult. So um, with that, I'll just give you a quick bit of background. I uh, owned and ran a web design company in London for almost 20 years. Um, the name of that company is Peppercorn. It is actually still around, believe it or not, although it's pretty dormant now. We don't really we do too much, but the website is there as a bit of a stamp in time. Um, I now work with Alan on the website, um, YouTube channel, and uh, make sure everything, as I say, is fine. I, I do the search engine optimization, so I try and make sure that the, the website stays highly ranked in Google so everyone can find it. Uh, and th that, that's, that's my, my role with him. I try and make sure everything is a smooth process for, for Alan so he um, doesn't have to deal with too many issues. Um, the, so the question we were asked is, uh, how do you go about closing deals in our current self-isolated environment? What has changed and did it change? So with that, uh, I thought it might be better, as I say, for me to answer that question because uh, it's, it's maybe slightly more on the tech side. A lot of what I'm going to say actually goes with face-to-face -face as well, other than the obvious. Um, I had to present over my 20 years, um, you know, many times to, wasn't, to buyers of products, but it was where I was trying to win contracts to build websites and marketing and all the search engine side of things. So, I think a, a, a lot of the a lot of the lessons I learned there stretch across every everywhere. Um, so, um, the biggest thing, obviously, now uh, who knows when we'll be doing face to face meetings again, but um, you've got plenty of options between Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Skype. Uh, so. Obviously, the first one, this may be stating the obvious, but make sure you've got a, a quiet room. Make sure you don't have any kids that are going to come flying in the room or, or your partner in your pants or anything like that. Make sure that, that everything is quiet and you're able to present without any distractions. That may be obvious, but you'd be surprised how many times that. Uh, I, you, know, you look on YouTube, how many times uh, people have been interrupted with, with some funny things. Um, make sure you're dressed appropriately I learned this whether you're doing it either in person or online. You you should be dressed professionally. When I first started going to my meetings with, with my uh, web design company, I dressed pretty casual. And I know of one occasion where the client said that he actually thought we were perfectly capable of doing the job. There was no problem. Uh, I had a, quite a good rapport going with the guy, um, but he just said I was just dressed too casually and it didn't look professional and he just gave him a bad feeling. So I would say make sure you dress professionally, whether you show up in person, whether you show up online, maybe shirt, um, tie might be a bit over the top, but you know, shirt, jacket, and uh, make sure you do wear pants if you're um, going to present uh, digitally. Um, okay, so the next part of it would be the presentation itself. These days, it's very easy to put together uh, a, a, a good quality and professional presentation. The website I use all the time is a website called Fiverr. F I V E dot com. On that website, you will find freelancers from all over the world that will that will put together whatever you need. So one of the the thoughts that I have is you could create some great product videos. Go to Fiverr, type in uh, product video. You'll find in there plenty of people that will offer you product videos. Uh, you may have to send the product to them. You'll have to deal with that with them directly but it is definitely a way for you to present a video to them, whether you send that to them initially in your initial email contact or whether, whether you play that video at the beginning of the, of the presentation so they can see what's going on. With Zoom and, and Microsoft Teams and everything else, you can share screens and present information. Um, so that's quite a nice way of doing it. Um, with these videos, once you've got them done, if you get as far as, as um, um, making a contract between them, you could offer the video to them to put on their website as well as product pictures um, so that they, they actually have some marketing to put on their website to sell your product as well. But I would say definitely consider a product video. Moving on from that, again, using, using Fiverr. You can find people on there who, who very cost-effective will create professional 
slideshows, whether that's PowerPoint or SlideShare or whatever it may be, um, these guys will create presentations for you. Um, so you can walk your way through these presentations, uh, getting answering all the questions, selling all of the highlights of the product, uh, and it's done in a professional way. It'll be, it'll be more professional than you doing it yourself, generally speaking, unless you're a designer and know what you're doing. But, but that really is worth looking at, worth investing a bit of money. You can reuse that, those templates as you've, as you've made them. Um, as I say, make sure that you take professional photos as, as well. Photos will make all the difference when they're on a website or, or whatever it may be. If, if you're presenting and you're not presenting in person, photos are going to become very important. The product has to look good, professional, well made. Um, so I, I would say make, make, make sure that you, you spend some time on that. Um, there is another website by the name of Template Monster. I use that a lot. That's great for um, websites as well. That'll give you website templates. There's tons on there. Um, you can check out uh, the, uh, the various templates that they have and um, have a look at what's going on there too. It's also, it's also very good. There's, I'll put links below, so if you need to check out those links, you can use those. Um, what else can you do? The other thing is if you have been selling, uh, sometimes buyers, uh, sellers will be, will be selling on eBay and, and making some of their own, their own sales. If you do and you've got reviews that have been left by your users, should really highlight them and make sure that, that the um, this potential buyer can see all of your uh, your reviews and obviously everybody these days checks out reviews so there's there's definitely uh, some mileage in in that uh, as you get through your presentation talk through the most common questions that you already have had so that may answer whatever questions they may have um, I think that that's going to be quite key and then obviously make sure that you've left some time at the end for questions from them um, your product knowledge, as Alan has said in other videos, has to be spot on. So make sure you know all about your your, your product uh, as, as, as much as you possibly can. Um, pricing, uh, delivery, all, all of those logistics side of things, which, which is not my area. That's, that's obviously Alan, but I, he's spoken about that in other videos. So make sure you have that. In my experience, I have found that even though I knew, I knew the web extremely well, um, and after so many years, I, I could pretty much answer every question, but there were some, every now and then I'd get thrown a curveball and I just didn't know the answer to it. And I found rather than make something up or blag it for the want of a better word, I would just say, I don't know. And I, and I would just say, I'll come back to you on that. Um, you know, give me a, give me a, a day or, or whatever the time frame you think it may be for you to find, find the answer. But I always found that just saying, I don't know was better. Um, and then come back with accurate information. If you, if you, Kind of make it up, or you, you know, you're not quite telling the truth. You will have to stick by that later on, or change the deal. Which, when you're starting off on a relationship, that's not that's not the best way to start. I always found. So I think if you get thrown that curveball, it's fine. Just just so you don't know. Um, what else can I say? Th this isn't um, to do so much with presenting, but it's just what I found over the years of doing this. Uh, I found that. Being excited about your your potential buyer's business always got me further. Having ideas, understanding what it is that they wanted, what they were missing, what they were looking for, and, and showing some interest um, and even a bit of excitement always went quite far. Relate buying is is all about relationships. You're, you're generally in it for the long term, and I think I think it's the same when you're when you're selling products. You want them to be a long term relationship. So if you're going to deal with each other, the, the, the buyer will want you to be excited about their, their project. Um, I'm, I'm not talking about going over the top and going crazy, but if you can show an interest in their business, what do they, what do they want, what are they looking for, where do they need help, um, and show some genuine excitement about it, then I, I think that goes a long way. Um, it did for me, and when I understood the business, I would come up with suggestions, what about this, what about that, if they're looking for a particular area of a, of a product that they can't quite find, you could offer to go and find that for them, um, bring them some options, get into their head a little bit and try and understand what it is that they're lacking, what they need, um, and what they're, what they're looking for, and try and fill that. By doing that, it looks like you're working with them, you're a partner, you're not just there to sell them something. I found that that always worked quite well um, and would help me win, win a lot of the, uh, the contracts that I was going after. Um, 
along with that i think if you can find a way to build some rapport with with the guys that you're presenting to whether that might be the same interest in sport football team whatever it may be i found that if i could if i could find something that we had in common it really helped again you're you they're kind of buying relationships so they want to know that they can deal with you on the long term that it's not just a case of you know one off and then then you're gone and if they if they're going to be dealing with you they want to know that they can like you basically uh, so if you can find a way to get a bit of chat going um, don't be too over the top with it obviously but that always worked very well for me if I could find a way that I could get some chat going um, as a relationship grows you can meet up for a, a coffee a bit of lunch and then it just strengthens the relationship so I would try and find find a personal way forward with with the buyers especially if you start to do do win a contract and you work and you're going to be working with them find that way to keep the relationship going it can open more doors, you may find more of their network, they may introduce you to some of their network, all of these things really help. So um, I'm gonna keep this short without without waffling on, which I can, can definitely do, but I don't wanna bore anybody. They would be the main points. Check out Fiverr, um, you can find freelancers there that will, always, that will offer you a very good rate. Um, make sure that you check out your product uh, photos get them professionally done or, or do what you can to take professional shots. Um, I think that's going to be very key. A product video will always be very useful and your product presentation, whether that's through PowerPoint or SlideShare or whatever it may be, find a way to present that professionally. It won't cost you a fortune and it will be money well spent. Um, when the presentation is finished, follow that on with an email. As I say, attach the video. If, if the presentation is something that you can attach that they'll understand if they go back over it, um, with within their team, send that on so that they can um, they can go back over a, 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 any of the points that they may have forgotten, and then obviously give a follow up phone call a couple of days later, figure out if there's anything else that they need to know, and and see if see if you can win win that win that contract. Um, that would be my best advice. So with that, I'm going to end it there. If you like the video, uh, do us a quick favor and give it a thumbs up, give it a like. That helps the channel. And over the weekend, actually, I think it was Sunday, maybe Saturday, we managed to hit a thousand subscribers, which is pretty cool. Can't quite imagine that we would, we would ever do that, um, but that is cool. So as long as everybody likes the videos, we'll keep adding them. If there's anything from a digital side that you might be interested in me going into, uh, you know, website that kind of stuff, uh, maybe the best way to put one of those together. Let me know in the comments below. I will look at them and I'll answer them. Um, and I'm happy to do another video if this is something you like. Thanks very much.